Hello everyone, I'm Anil Becker. Today, we are going to talk about managing hashtag HCI clusters and our VMs on HCI using Azure CLI. I'm a senior PM in the Azure Stack HCI team. Let's get started. In today's session, we will cover problem statements, solution, architecture, and wrap it up with two demos and a summary. You are going to learn about automating HCA cluster management using Azure CLI and how to start and stop Arc VMs on HCI using Azure CLI. Let's start with the problem statements. As the deployment frequency and the number of HCI instances to manage increases, performing multi-step tasks become effort intensive. Many of the organizations have skilled Linux administrators who are good at bash scripts. For them to learn PowerShell requires training and delays the deployment. And the solution is Azure CLI. Azure CLI helps your Linux administrators feel home with bash shell scripts. Azure Cloud Shell eliminates the need to set up Azure CLI. You can quickly get started with Azure Cloud Shell available in Azure Portal. Azure Cloud Shell also has integration with Visual Studio Code, which we will see in this demo. You can author CLI scripts to automate the repeatable steps from Azure. These scripts can be executed reliably by any one of your team in your absence. This will help you automate the HCI cluster management and Arc VMs on HCI tasks at scale from Azure. This is a high level 60,000 feet view of the architecture. All of this is built on top of Azure Resource Manager, ARM, which enables you to perform these operations using Azure CLI and invoking the script from Azure Cloud Shell. This gets processed by Azure Stack HCI resource provider and gets eventually configured on your HCI cluster at edge. To put this in perspective, let's consider a situation. Imagine you are in charge of HCI clusters deployed across various edge locations. You want to set up monitoring from Azure on these HCI clusters so that you can stay ahead of any potential outages. So you are in search of an automated solution to configure monitoring across your clusters. Let's get into a quick demo. To follow along, I have documented every step of my demo under this URL. Here, I have captured the same problems, example scenarios, and the solution which we discussed. Let's start with the steps. There are certain prerequisites for this exercise. You need to install the Visual Studio Code, the Azure Account Extension for VS Code, and the Azure CLI Extension for the HCI and monitoring. Let's start with the first step. Let's create a DCR JSON. For this, you have to open the Visual Studio Code, copy the code, and paste it in. Here, I'm going to create the DCR JSON file and copy paste the content. Let's check the next step. Next up is to create a script which enables the monitoring extension and insights on its cluster. Copy the code, go back to Visual Studio code and paste the content. Here, you have to replace the certain variables according to your environment. I'm going to paste my environment details over here. Once you have pasted the code, Let's go for the next step. Now, we have to check if the subscription has been set up properly. We are using the Azure CLI command for doing the same. AZ account set is the command which we are using to check if the subscription is set properly. After we have checked the subscription, we need to check if the Insight extension is enabled on the HCI cluster. Copy the code and paste it below the previous stack. We are using the Hashtag HCI extension command for this. Now let's create the log analytics workspace using the Azure CLR. Copy the code and paste it here. Once you have the workspace set up, now you are ready to create the data collection endpoint. So let's go ahead and copy the code for creating this. Once you have set up the data collection endpoint, it's time to set up data collection rules.
Once the data collection rules are set up, we have to create DCR association. So you have copied this, the entire script is ready for execution. Let's look at the next step. To execute the script, we have to start the Azure Cloud Shell via VS Code. I have to sign in and initiate the Cloud Shell with Bash and environment. Let's go to the VS Code, click New Terminal, and then create a new instance for the Azure Cloud Shell Bash environment. Select your AD directory. You can now see the Azure Cloud Shell from the VS Code. Let's upload these scripts and JSON, which we have authored. You can use the native extension to upload the same. Once you have uploaded, you can see if the files got uploaded. Now it's time to run those script. Let's change the script permission to make it executable. You can see that Insights is not currently configured on this cluster. And once the command is run, this should be fully be configured. We have completed the execution of the command. Let's see if this has been configured in the portal. We have to refresh the screen. You can see that it's configured. You can also check that the <coughs> excuse me. You can also check that the extension got installed successfully. Come back to the capabilities to just see if it is fully configured. Let's pick another scenario. Imagine you are in charge of ArcVM on HCA clusters. Billing team asks for an additional VM between 6 to 9 PM, but your cluster is already running near full capacity. You want to stop a few ideal VMs during that time frame so that you can run the billing team's VM. This might be a recurring requirement and you are looking to automate the start and stop of existing VMs. Let's jump into a quick demo. To follow along with me, the steps are documented under this URL. Let's get started with the steps. There are a few prerequisites again here. You need to ensure that you have the Visual Studio Code and the Azure account extension for the VS Code. And you need to also ensure that the Azure CLI extension for the VM management is also installed. Let's start creating the scripts for starting and stopping the VM. Copy the script, go back to the VS code, create the file to stop the VMs, copy the content and save the file. You need to replace the variables with your environment details. I'm gonna paste my environment details over here. In this case, you can stop three VMs, but I'm opting for only one. But if you have more, you can feel free to keep those and change the names appropriately. Let's switch back and see the next step. To start the virtual machine, you have to create another script, copy the content, go back to VS Code, create the script file, paste the content and save the file. You need to replace the variables just like the last file over here as well. I'm going to use my own settings here. Let's see what's the next step. You can see that we are using the Azure CLI for HCI to start and stop the VMs. Now we need to start the Azure Cloud Shell to run these scripts. So go to the VS Code, open the Azure Cloud Shell Bash and Environment, select your directory. Let's see what's the next step. You have to upload these files to Azure Cloud Shell. You have to follow 
these steps. You have to go to the view, command palette, select Azure, upload to the cloud shell option and upload both these scripts. Once you are done, the next step is to change the script permission to make it executable. And now it's time to see what's the current state of the VM on the HCA cluster. So select your HCA cluster, go to virtual machines menu, see what's the current status of the VM. In this case, I'm seeing one of my virtual machines is running and I would like to stop this virtual machine. So I'm going to run the command HCIVM stop dot sh. This will take some time to complete. As you can see here, this CLI is currently in preview. You can see that the script successfully completed. Let's go to the Azure portal and see if the VM has stopped. You can see that the virtual machine has stopped. Now let's see if we can use the other command to start the virtual machine. Let's run the command Let's see IVM start.sh to start this virtual machine. You can see that the script got completed. Go back to the portal and refresh. And you can see that the VMs have started running. In this session, we saw how to author a script to streamline those repeated multi-click complex process. We automated everything from Azure and finally we used Azure Cloud Shell instead of installing CLI locally and used the favorite bash scripting to automate the task. I hope this session was useful. If you have any questions or issues, please share those via the GitHub repository I shared. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.